You guys are such an interesting, exceptional group of young people that uh, are making a lifelong endeavor uh, to be involved in this field. And it's not easy. And I mean, the rewards are substantial, but at the end of the day, you get to save lives. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what made you choose medicine? I think it's a little bit of a story. Um, my parents are both in medicine. My dad uh, has been an anesthesiologist at GMH uh, for the last 20 something years. Um, I always thought his job was cool and I've always loved, yeah. yeah, I've loved the sciences growing up. Um, chemistry, biology, all that stuff. I had the privilege of shadowing in the GMH operating room um, since I was probably 14. I remember uh, seeing operations in the operating room and thinking it was the coolest thing ever. Um, and I think it was there that I really decided that I wanted to be a doctor. Um, you know, throughout college, you take different classes, think about different things, but I think nothing really made sense for me um, as far as doing something that I really felt passionate about learning except for medicine. What is the experience like working in the two different hospitals? But you know, I mean, you're coming home, you know, you, you know our people, you probably know, um, hopefully not, not too directly, but you know, the afflictions that our people like have and our lifestyle and how that lends to health and everything like that. So being able to get directly involved uh, in the care of your home community, what, what has that been like at either hospital? It, it's so special. Um, for me, I've always known I wanted to be a doctor. I've always wanted to be a surgeon. I've always wanted to help, you know, the people, the island of Guam where I grew up, you know, the island that made me who I am. Um, and throughout college, throughout the first couple years of medical school, this was always a dream, right? It's something that, you know, I would think about at night, I would think about while I'm driving, oh, one day I'm gonna be able to do this, one day I'm gonna be able to help people or serve people like this, one day I'm gonna be able to um, come back home to Guam and like scrub it on a case with my dad, or, you know, finally be able to talk surgery with some of the surgeons that I've always looked up to my whole life here. Um, this was the first opportunity that I had where I got to really start to live that experience um, I got to see the surgeons work, you know, in clinic and reach out to their patients. Um, I got to see what it's like to scrub into the operating rooms here and help out, even in just little ways. Um, and it kind of gave me more of a tangible idea of what I'm going to do in the future. Um, and that has been really, really exciting. It's been such a blessing to be here. Okay, Doug, what does it mean for for the medical community here to have um, exceptional young men like uh, and like Brandon and his colleagues in Talanamti coming here and legitimately wanting to practice here? Well, I think uh, it's critical that we try to build an environment for them to come back home, right? So there's always a saying, if you build it, they will come. But I think far more than that, if you support them, they will flourish. And I think that's what we want them to do. We want them to come back. The data is pretty robust that, you know, the, the longer that these students, like Brandon, stay away from home, the longer that the likelihood of them coming back becomes much less. So if, they, if you can get them back sooner, you can have more ties back to the island, and the chances of them coming back is really, really much higher. Now, a lot of people would say, you know, like depending on where you go to med school gives you a distinct advantage because of your training or because of the cases you're exposed to and everything. But I mean, there is a lot of merit for uh, young men and women who grew up here and know the community and like I was talking to Brandon, like know the afflictions that our people like have to deal with. Yeah, most definitely. I think it's, there is an advantage for you to care for your community. I think the, when you, when they, you, we always talk about it in medicine, practicing with the cultural lens, but nothing can be more real than being at home to practice with what you know to be true, which is understanding the culture. You're not only discussing about the culture, but you're part of it. You grew up in it. Now, one of your, your areas of interest as you, you know, complete your medical studies is minimally invasive surgery. Mm -hmm. Your generation is obviously on the cusp of integrating AI, robotics, nanotechnology, probably in the very near future, um, hopefully. Um, your generation is probably gonna make some significant breakthroughs in medicine and fighting disease. And um, What about MIS like draws you to that as far as you know, like having a better sense of uh, taking care of a patient? Absolutely. Um, I think, you know, for a medical student's journey, you spend a lot of time in different rotations. So for our third year of medicine, we go through you know, internal medicine, surgery, OBGYN, pediatrics, etc. cetera. Um, for me, uh, I knew I wanted to be a surgeon. I didn't know what kind. I would take a look at the different subspecialties and I felt like I realized that uh, I liked the breadth of general surgery. Um, you get to do cases in the colon, you get to do the gallbladder, you get to do liver things, you can even do some thorax things. It's real, it's a real like generalist um, specialty. And so 
Uh, MIS is really cool, minimally invasive surgery, is because it's related to better patient outcomes um, compared to open surgeries, but you still get to keep the breadth of general surgery and keep things interesting and have more of like a, a varied case um, load. I think the doctors here, the nursing staff, um, and the hospital staff make their jobs look really easy. Uh, growing up, I always thought, I, I never understood how complex, you know, a hospital can be or taking care of patients can be, um, especially in the operating room, you know, because that's something that I'm more familiar with than other specialties. Um, I've really come to appreciate their skill um, and how technically gifted a lot of the surgeons here are um, and how down to earth they are. Um, and so, I don't know, I think I've come to appreciate the people here more uh, now that I understand what it takes to be like them one day. Something I say all the time in sports is, you know, it's not the athlete that chose the event, it's the event that chose the athlete. Do you think surgery chose you? I think so. Um, I have this philosophy, so this is just personal to me. Uh, I might mean the minority of medical students, but I think with regards to you know pursuing medicine, pursuing surgery, trying to come back home to Guam, um, I think for me, I have such a short time to live on this earth, uh, and I've always been trying to do things or pursue things that I felt were super, you know, set my soul on fire kind of deal. Um, I think you know, throughout all the different medical specialties, I've come to appreciate every single one of them um, and come to admire certain things about um, certain specialties. But, man, there's something about being in the OR. There's something about the attention to detail, the acuity. Um, it's so, like, life-saving, right? You have such a, a burden of responsibility, especially when you're working on something like a trauma service, for example, um, or you have, like, an emergent case where you have to go to the operating room stat. Um, I think there are really special moments that uh, surgeons specifically get to feel uh, by having the privilege and the opportunity of uh, taking care of someone um, at their most vulnerable uh, that I think, I don't know, I can't, I can't say no to that feeling now that I've seen it. You know, it's something that I want to keep pursuing and I want to get better at or I want to see myself in that space one day as a surgeon. Health Check is brought to you locally by Island Cancer Center.